we've talked before about being England goalkeeper more than any other position. You're under more scrutiny, aren't you? So do you find it easier to deal with now? Yeah, I find it a hell of a lot easier. You know, realise that I can only be, I can only focus on myself, yeah. only be Jordan Pickford and being the best I can be. And that's what I strive on every day when I go out training. I just want to be the best I can be and get them one or two percent and just getting better and better as I'm getting older. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still 27, but that pressure is always going to be there when you're part of an England squad and England number one goalkeeper. But it's something for me is you've you've got to have that narrow-minded focus and just be the best. Yeah, but with experience and the maturity, that helps, doesn't it? Yeah, of course, you know, your maturity in games, the older you get, you know, family, having a family yeah. now, you know, there's all them differences come in as you're getting older. So, yeah, it, it all helps and, you know, it all gives you learning curves of what 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 you could have probably done better when you look back in your life, you know. But now it's just about me improving and getting better each time. How do you compare the, the competition for this set of games with Aaron Ramsdale and, and Sam Johnston? Yeah, it's good, you know. Two two great lads and two two lads who play on great football. Aaron's got a, a great move to Arsenal and he's flying and Sam's at West Brom flying and played the last um uh, beat the last couple of camps of We've shared the load of the games, yeah. Um, but it's great competition. There's, I don't. There's no point. I think if you don't have competition, then it's it, you start relaxing a bit more. Where you don't want to be relaxing, you want to be improving, you want to be getting better and better. And Sam and Ram is a the flying, and I need to be on my A game as well and keep stepping up the plate. Which I feel I'm in great form, and I feel like I'm doing. England have still got a, a little bit of work to do to to guarantee qualification. Yeah. Um, You've got these two games that on paper look comfortable. Everyone's basically saying, well, you'll win both of those games. How do you guard against complacency? Oh, well, fingers crossed, first of all. I, I hope we, that's the aim of, of uh, this nine, ten days we're, we're away. But, um, yeah, that that is not a difficult one, I think, in, in our eyes where you've, probably heard me say many a times that uh, there's no easy games there's um, that's why football is to me the best sport in the world there's just, there can be upsets there can be things that go against you or wh whatever it might be and um, the last game we played against uh, Albania was, was wasn't an easy one by any stretch they, they caused us problems so we uh, never go into any game um, showing the team no respect we we give respect to every team um and especially when it there's there's so much that uh is on the line for us especially knowing that we can uh go to a world cup if we qualify and win these with these two games that is possible um but yeah definitely th take one step at a time in in my mind that's why i do in the f the first game on friday is is a huge one um and a difficult one at that. I mean, it was difficult to go over there. Mm. We knew that the passionate team that have um, kind of sporadic in how they pressed and, and went in different situations to we, that we're used to. So there you go. It's, that's that's football all, all over. You don't know what, what um, they're going to do and what you're up against. We can just pre prepare the best we can, which we do for every game. And... Um, and give it everything and, and that's what we definitely do first and foremost is you know bring that passion to England and try and um, make sure that everyone knows that and gets behind us at Wembley but Are you going to nick another goal next couple of games? Oh, mate, yeah I hope so I'll do everything I can you know I, I, I've honestly worked so hard in, in that side of my game to um, be in the right areas or um, the flight of the ball the cross and we've got unbelievable delivery here and mm. um, we work hard on set pieces so yeah you know i need to keep bringing goals to my game and and um i'm definitely trying hard to do that so it'd be lovely if i if i got on the score sheet again you won't be surprised i've had to write this one down okay. because i'm told that you're a huge jerry cinnamon fan oh, awesome. and one of his songs is where we're going is that right yeah. so you'll be hoping that that's Qatar. Yeah, where we're going, yeah. yeah. I can't sing the next bit, but... No, no. I wasn't going to ask you to do yeah. that. Yeah. No. I, I, I could sing it, but it's swearing, so I can't do it. All right, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
But um, did you did did he see him in, in tour recently? Was he in concert or something? Yeah, I was in. Uh, I went. I was had a slight niggle on my shoulder, and uh, there was a concert up north, and I, I managed to get to it. So yeah, it was good. Um, hopefully, get to see him soon again. But it all depends on my fixes. Yeah. Did you did he sing that night? I take it. Yeah, he did. Yeah. 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 How was I? Yeah. Yeah. A belter. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Disco land. Yeah, a few. I'm, I'm feeling good now. I'm, I'm rolling back the years. Yeah, he, he, Jerry Cinnamon, the eyes. Yeah, if you, if you get the chance to go and see him, it's one of them, one of them gigs you don't forget. He gets the crowd bouncing. Yeah, brilliant. Nice one. Thanks, George. Cheers. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts.